I'm no professional when it comes to fears, but let me tell you, I've got a lot of them. I'm pretty sure my brain is constantly in fight or flight mode and always about the most irrational things. Hello, anxiety. Hate you, girl. But I've always found fear and phobias really interesting because it's so powerful. Fear is such an intense emotion. So today we're gonna be counting down some of the top 10 most common fears and building a house inspired by those fears in The Sims 4. This video is sponsored by Blue Land. Blue Land features refillable, revolutionary cleaning products, including home cleaners and hand soaps. Basically how it works is you buy the bottle one time and you can refill it using their cleaning and soap tablets. One bottle forever. And all you need to clean your house or hands is this tiny little tablet. No more cabinets full of big, bulky cleaning products. Oh, and if you're wondering about the Blue Land bottles, they use no single-use plastic in any component of their products, and all refills are 100% plastic free. They are effective, convenient, and affordable, and all sourced from clean ingredients. Let me show you how it's done, because I gotta clean my kitchen, so... You fill up your forever bottle with warm to hot water, then you drop one of the tablets into the bottle and in minutes it's ready to use with no shaking or stirring required. I personally have a ton of bathroom cleaners in my kit and since we're moving soon they're gonna come in handy because the first week I move in there I'm gonna be spending cleaning everything. And the cleaners also smell really nice so love that. These are also super convenient because traditional cleaning products cost around five to six dollars and you don't even get to keep the bottle. Blue Land's refills are only two dollars and twenty five cents and you can even save ten percent with a subscription to Blue Land, which you can cancel at any time. You can feel safe using Blue Land because they're also EPA Safer Choice certified, meaning scientists have tested all their ingredients to make sure they meet the EPA Safer Choice strict criteria. So to try out Blue Land, you can click the link down in my description to save 15% off your first kit. Thank you so much to Blue Land for sponsoring this video and let's get back into it. I'm going to be building here in Brindleton Bay. This is the lighthouse island, so we're gonna be the only lot here. We can call it Fear Island, or wait, what's it called in Scooby-Doo? Spooky Island? Sure. And coming in at the 10th spot is Aerophobia, the fear of flying. So I wanna build a house in The Sims 4 with a hangar for airplanes. Obviously, airplanes don't work in The Sims 4. I mean, we don't even have cars, so airplanes. I don't think it's happening. But I've never built an airplane-themed house in the sims so i think it'll be good i'm basically building a base here and i think the entry to this house is going to be on the second floor so we're gonna have stairs coming up and the actual hangar portion is going to be coming across like this let me just find a little airplane and see if it's actually gonna fit i think there's one in base game it's either a decor item or a toy oh yeah here we go okay so i'm gonna size this up and we're just gonna make sure our plane fits right under there this one actually hits home to me i've had so many experiences with nervous flyers. And a lot of you guys know, but before I started with content creation, I used to be a flight attendant, which literally feels like another lifetime. But I did it for seven years and the fears were so real. Like the people who were actually afraid of flying, they really felt it. Like sometimes we even had to let people off, like when the plane was still on the ground because they just couldn't do it. There was this one girl, we were going to like Cuba or something and her entire family was going. But before we took off, she was just so scared. She couldn't do it. She had to get off and everyone else went. I've even personally felt afraid of flying before, like even now sometimes. There are just so many factors that make it scary for some people. Like you can factor in the fear of heights, the enclosed and crowded space, also just the general lack of control that you have in an airplane. Sometimes I envy those people that like just don't give a crap on an airplane. They are there just vibing with like a book and a drink. Like they could not care less what happens. The plane could be balancing around and they've got their hands up in the air like it's a freaking roller coaster. <laughs> I've seen it happen. I've seen it all. The exterior of this house, by the way, and the rest of the rooms in the house are going to be centered around that fear. Like we're not going to be trying to avoid it. We're going to be trying to embrace it in how we decorate and stuff. I probably should have said that at the beginning. So I used a vampire's brick on these parts here and a cats and dogs white siding. And I think for my 
windows, I'm going to use Strangerville. I think I'll combine those with the My Wedding Stories ones. They're pretty similar, just in different wall heights. And thinking ahead a little bit here up top, this is where I'm going to put the Fear of Heights. It's on the list somewhere. I know it. So I'm going to make an entire glass tower up here. I'm going to add a white trim going around here. And we'll bring some of these windows to the front. There's also a skinnier like variation of it too. I think for my front door, it's going to be in here. And I was thinking about using cats and dogs. There's also a couple different variations we could use with that. Like we have this one we could use for our balcony door. I might actually bring this out a little bit. It was just looking a little flat on that side of the house. We'll get a roofing piece on there. And I was also thinking I need a little bit of a smaller window. So I'm also going to use these ones here from Horse Ranch. All right, our windows and doors are complete and I want to start adding in some roofing details. I want to use one of these and I normally just use them as like roofing pieces poking out a little bit. I'm going to just stick this right on top of my tower. It gives it that like, I don't even know, schoolhouse vibe. Just something a little extra. I think it looks good up there. We're also going to add a chimney and I'm going to add these on here as well from get together. I'm not going for an overly scary looking house here. Like the thing with phobias and fears is they don't all apply to everybody. So some people could look at this and be like, oh, this is a beautiful house with planes and everything. And some people would look at this and be like, get those freaking planes out of my sight. I'm my entire family left me to Cuba one time. For lighting, I'm going in with these here from City Living. And we're also going to start to add some landscaping. So I could see like a tree right at the front here. I might line the back with some of these as well, just rotating them, but putting them all in a row. The idea here is hopefully they could take off from the island. Maybe not on the lot, but maybe like over here or over there. I don't know. I think I'm going to add a debug fence. This is from Outdoor Retreat. We don't have a ton of plane related things in The Sims 4 but we do have these. These are from Strangerville. They're just like broken down plane parts. Maybe the person who lives here just like works on planes or has planes as a hobby. I don't want it to be too messy here, you know, just a couple spare parts here and there. Maybe here in the workshop area, like underneath where the planes are, I can add some plane pictures. These are again from Strangerville. There we go. And then up top here, I just want to make a seating area. So I'm going to use that couch there from Growing Together. I'm also going to add the matching chairs here. I'm going to add a couple tables here and then on them I could maybe add like a model airplane. Like we have some of these I guess but like <laughs> I feel like that doesn't apply. I feel like the average person is probably just afraid of flying in terms of airplanes. <laughs> Although the fear of flying in rocking ships makes sense to me too but that's not what we're talking about here. <laughs> All right so this is what our house ended up looking like. It's actually really pretty. I feel like yes maybe someone might not want to be around the planes but in general it's a very cute house. Over to the side here, I added a seating area, just kind of basic out here. There wasn't a whole lot of room, so I just added a base game bench and some chairs. There's some lantern decor out here as well. Going around the back, I added a barbecue with a picnic table. I added a little bit more landscaping around the back as well. And I added a swing set because I have a feeling we might add kids in this house, like it might be a family home. We've got our patio seating area, and now we're ready to go inside which I did also make a layout. So like I said, top floor, we're gonna have something going on up there, maybe a bedroom, maybe something else, but open room up there. The third floor, we're gonna have a few bedrooms. So we're gonna have three bedrooms here and a bathroom over to the left. We'll have a main floor with like a living room, seating area. And then downstairs on the lower floor, we're gonna have our kitchen and dining, which we did just get the new Sims 4 Home Chef Hustle Stuff Pack. I'm excited to try out that. And we're gonna have another bathroom down here as well. Coming in at number nine is going to be acrophobia, the fear of heights. All right, so for the fear of heights room, they're already way up here, which is pretty high. Maybe we should put something fun in there. What if we added a telescope? Doesn't get much higher than the stars. <laughs> it would also be interesting if we had like, you know, those observation decks normally in like a tourist destination, like a tower or something. Hold on, let me show you. I'm talking about the places that have like glass flooring where you can come out and stand on it. And the whole thing is you're up really high. So it's scary. A little odd to have that kind of poking out on my house, but what would it look like at the front? There, yeah, so it's gonna be like an observation deck kind of thing with glass flooring that leads all the way down into the garden. <laughs> I guess then we should actually put our telescope outside. So if they want to use it, they gotta 
take a risk there. Maybe we can add a comfy chair out here though. Like at least they'll be able to sit there and relax. Maybe this could actually help conquer their fear. Maybe I'll actually change the fence to something smaller like that so it's even scarier. You could just fall off the edge even though you can't it's the sims but you know. This is actually a really cute area in the sims though. But we could also incorporate some ceiling paint here. Like we could use this one from Horse Ranch so the ceiling is gonna look like clouds. The room is a little small to see it but you can see it there from the outside. Oh you know what we could actually do is add a bunk bed. I know it might sound ridiculous to some people who like don't have this fear but even like being up on the top bunk for some people is like too much. I think I might actually add a seating area under here though with some extra pillows just making it extra cozy. Maybe also some meditation pillows around too. This one personally doesn't scare me. Like I would love to stay up here. I think the only time I would ever be afraid of heights is if it's like out in the open. Like maybe being on here I would be a little afraid about that barrier. But in general I'm okay with heights. They don't really bug me too much. I'm adding a bookshelf there with a speaker. Maybe just a hanging plant here in the corner. And there we go. That is going to be our top floor observatory bedroom. Possibly invoking the fear of heights. Let's go downstairs to the bedroom floor because next up is going to be claustrophobia which is the fear of enclosed spaces. So we have this tiny little bedroom over here which is probably just going to be enough to fit a double bed. Let me see. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much as squishy as you could get it to be in there. This could be the parent bedroom. It could be the world's worst like guest room and I'm gonna try and make it even squishier. Like I'm gonna add curtains back there. You're not gonna be able to see out the window. Like we can do these ones for my wedding stories. This one definitely applies to me. Like I do not like being in small spaces. Anywhere where there's not like a direct exit, I'm just not down. This one could also go along with maybe like crowded places. I feel like that's a very common one, especially nowadays in a post COVID world. I'm actually gonna paint this a little darker. They say like dark paints make a room feel smaller. We could also dim it a little bit, maybe just adding like a couple lamps here and there. It's hard because I want it to be squishy, but I still want you to be able to get in there. I'm gonna add this bookshelf here from Growing Together. It's gonna go right over the top of the bed there like that. Maybe we can even clutter up these spaces here a little more. We could even add some pictures on the wall, like a gallery wall over here. And maybe I could also get a lamp over here in the corner. Okay, there we go. This is like the squishiest room. It's cute, but I feel like you could definitely feel a little claustrophobic in there. Next, we're moving on to number seven, which is Veophobia, the fear of driving. I think I'm gonna do another bedroom for this one. We'll do the big one right here. What if we did a car themed bedroom for kids? I know we have the base game car bed. Maybe we could add a couple in here. Like maybe there's a few kids that have this room. What if we tried to make this room a whole street? I need to add some black paint. The cars can be going this way. Like they're driving. I'll move those over just for a sec and I'll add the light strips from Spa Day in yellow. Maybe they could actually drive like this. <laughs> and then maybe up on the sides, I could add platforms. So I'm just drawing walls here to make it easier. And then I'm gonna raise up each platform by one tick so they can still get up and down off them. Okay, there we go. We've got our sidewalks and for wallpaper, maybe we'll make it red. There's a lot of red happening already. I'm gonna add some cloud lights in here. And I also added the cloud ceiling in here. We're gonna add the car light from Strangerville. This one doesn't bug me too much. Maybe sometimes on highways, I'll get a little nervous if there's bad weather or something, which being Canadian happens a lot. <laughs> Actually, yeah, winter driving, I take that back. I hate winter driving. I find it terrifying. <laughs> Let me know what some of your fears are in the comments, by the way. I'm not gonna judge either. Like I definitely have some irrational ones. For decor, I'm gonna add all of the car related things, which we actually have quite a few of. Like all of these little toy cars. We could even make some of them bigger and add them onto our road here. This is actually a really fun bedroom here. I know we have a bunch of car pictures also from Strangerville. I'm noticing a theme here. I'm still gonna add some other toys here. Like we can put Bun Bun over in the corner. I'm adding some of the base game toy baskets. Oh my gosh, imagine the change table was like a pit stop. Wait, Strangerville has a bunch of tires, which I'm gonna add here and just stack them. This is the pit stop. <laughs> Wait, isn't there one of those? Oh, there we go. Okay, this is going here from Strangerville. Maybe I'll move this stuff over a little. Okay, here we go. This is going to be our driving inspired toddler room. I think this ended up so unique. I've never built a toddler room in The Sims 4 quite like this one. And how cool would this be in real life? Like if you're afraid of driving, maybe you wouldn't want a room like this in your house, but the theme is very interesting. 
interesting for a kid's room. Okay, let's move on from here. We're going down to number six. And coming in at number six is arachnophobia, the fear of spiders. I feel like we may as well just finish off the final bedroom on here. I can totally relate to this one. I hate spiders, but for some reason they love me. <laughs> you guys have actually seen some of my reactions to spiders on this channel because for some reason they love spawning on my camera. So maybe this could be like a goth teen room and they just really love spiders. <laughs> I'm gonna add some paranormal curtains and The Sims 4 has a ton of spider webs from vampires. So I'm just gonna put them all over the place. Most people I feel like would probably not want these in their bedroom, but this person embraces it. Oh, actually, am I going to use my spider web wallpaper two videos in a row? We have to. I discovered this one when building a Monster High inspired build recently. We gotta do it. I'm gonna shove a dresser into that corner. Maybe we can use this spooky stuff rug here. Spooky stuff also has these like massive spiders we could put on the wall. Oh, I don't even like looking at those. Those are not my friends. There are also these, but I feel like we maybe have enough with like the, the wallpaper and the spider webs. Maybe this teen sim is in a band and they their band name revolves around spiders. <laughs> we could add an octopus, which I I mean, realistically, it's just like a big water spider. Maybe we'll just make it really messy in here. Like I'm gonna add some records over here. Oh, we can use the tabletop record player from the Modern Lux kit. Oh, I almost forgot about you. This is totally my nightmare. <laughs> I don't like the thought of any spiders anywhere around where I'm sleeping. In my brain, they just don't exist at nighttime because otherwise we just may not be falling asleep. I'm gonna add this big wall decor piece from werewolves and I'm just gonna add a couple more spiders on top of there as well. All right, there is our spider inspired bedroom in spidered. I hated that. With my fear aside, this is actually a pretty cool bedroom. We're coming up with some interesting themes from this today. I like how we incorporated the music element a little bit. I don't know, I could see a band being really into spiders. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next fear. And coming in at number five, we have nosophobia, which is the fear of developing a disease. I'm just like checking these off of like all the ones I have. Like I'm like, yep, I got that, I got that. Check, check. I don't really wanna spend too much time on this one, but we're gonna do a bathroom and it's gonna be gross. This bathroom will absolutely not be passing any safety standards. It's literally going to be a danger to society in here, but I'm adding all of my essentials in here and then I'm going to add gross things in here like stains, like these again coming in hot with Strangerville. Just very questionable stains going on in the bathroom. Maybe I'll actually make it a little lighter in here so you can actually see more of the stains. Oh, actually we could do the dirty carpet. Carpet in a bathroom is gnarly. City living actually has a pretty gross wallpaper. <laughs> yep, there it is. Molded baseboard. Yep, that'll, yep, that'll get you sick. Maybe we'll add a cleaning basket under here. I'm gonna give this family the benefit of the doubt. Maybe there was a leak or, you know, something broke and they're renovating this bathroom. Ooh, you could not catch me near this place. I'm just gonna add a couple more lights in here and we're gonna move on because I don't even want to look at it. We'll make the downstairs bathroom really, really nice. But this one, this is our fear of germ. Germs, I guess, fear of disease, bathroom. And I'm thinking since the bedrooms are done now, this is gonna have to be the parent bedroom. So maybe they care so much about their kids. They got the big bedrooms and they took the tiny little claustrophobic one. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Coming in at number four is thanatophobia, the fear of death. I think we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom floor for this and do the kitchen. So like I said, I'm very excited to try this out because we got a new stuff pack. I did not think I'd be saying that in 2020. 23. It's called the Home Chef Hustle Stuff Pack and it revolves mostly around kitchen stuff. We got some new flooring, which I'm using here and some new wallpaper. I'm so excited about this wallpaper. I love the colors of it. Oh, that pink one is so pretty. The white one is very nice too. I love the colors they pick. But since we're doing a death kitchen, we're gonna be going all black. These are all of the items that come with the Home Chef Hustle Stuff Pack, which doesn't seem like a lot, but keep in mind when we have new counters. They technically count as more items because there's so many different variations of them. Like we got corner pieces, obviously with any counter kit, you get like end pieces, same as island pieces. There's like that one, but then we also get the rounded pieces and different variations of them. And of course we got a fridge and an oven, a sink. So it's going to be enough to make an entire kitchen. The swatches on these are really pretty too. Like, oh, I can't wait to use these pink ones. Death. Think of death. <laughs> this actually could be ironic 
ironic in The Sims because one of the most common ways to die when you're playing The Sims 4 is via the oven. So I'm gonna put that over there in the corner. I'm also gonna add one of the new sinks there. We're going to put up these cabinets, which I am in love with. Well, the corner spot is a shelf. It's not a full cabinet, it's just a shelving piece. I love that. I also really like how they included lighting on some of the cabinets. Like underneath, you can see those lights there, which is very modern. We have this dish rack. I'm gonna just add all of the actual kitchen elements and then we'll bring in the death. I wonder if you can die via pizza oven, which is another very cool new item that we got. Maybe I'll put that over here beside the other oven. I'm assuming it would catch fire. Why wouldn't it? What else did we get? Oh, the waffle maker. We can put the waffle maker maybe in the corner here or just like beside the oven. We got some new plate clutter, which is always nice. We have a spice rack. Ooh, a cookbook. I love putting cookbooks in my kitchen. I'm gonna leave this space open for prep. So all of my clutter is gonna have to go back here. We'll add a knife set. Oh, and this tiny dishwasher. I do really like this. I just wish it would fit into the corner pieces because it's meant to be compact and like meant to go in tiny spaces, but then it doesn't go in like the tiny counters. It just doesn't really make sense. Oh, and we have the Chow Bella stand mixer. The name, it's perfect. Okay, I'm adding some island pieces here and we need to bring in the death. Maybe we could use this huge chandelier here from vampires. We'll dim the lights a little, make it look a little more spooky. By the way, I have this really annoying railing glitch right now. It's only applying to one side, which is very annoying. I'm not gonna put a smoke detector purposely in this kitchen. And I still want this to look like somewhat of a normal family home here. So my first instinct was to add graves, but I don't really wanna do that. We could add a couple urns in here. The kitchen is probably the worst place to put that, but oh, we have grimbucha, kombucha made from the death flower. That could go in our kitchen. Maybe don't use it. <laughs> but for some reason, there's gonna be a whole supply over there on the shelf. Maybe one of the kids was playing with a Grim Reaper toy. And you know what? Maybe someone bought these urns by accident. Maybe someone bought the urn thinking it was something they could put flour in and that's what they're doing. <laughs> so we have a very subtle death inspired kitchen. We're coming down to it now. We are at the third one and the third one is a titchy phobia. I might be saying that wrong, but it's the fear of failure. So I'm thinking for this one, maybe we won't do an entire room, but it's going to be a more so an area. And I'm thinking what we could do is add an area full of like skill items, maybe an easel over here, maybe a chest table or something, but this is going to be where hobbies go to die. <laughs> I'm gonna add like a broken down chair there. I'm not even gonna bother adding another one because we're gonna surround it maybe with more spider webs. I kind of want to add some eco lifestyle paintings just leaning against the chair. Maybe they weren't that happy with these paintings, so they're leaving them here and then we can delete the wall and it's gonna look like it's kind of leaning there. That painting looks fine to me, but maybe they entered it into a competition and they lost. It could also be from a change in career. Maybe these sims were like painters before and it wasn't working out so they had to quit. We'll add a trash can, maybe where more paintings can go. And the symbolism is there too because I'm assuming they got a job as like an airplane engineer or something. Hence all the airplanes outside, but there's a door here and when one door closes, they left that job to pursue their passion in airplanes. <laughs> okay, so that's going to represent failure in our house. We've got the easel over here, which like you could still use if you wanted to. The abandoned chest table, maybe another hobby they didn't like. And I still have to pull this whole floor together somehow, but we're moving on to the second most common phobia apparently, which is tripophobia, the fear of circle clusters. And okay, this might sound ridiculous to people who are not afraid of that. And even myself at first, I was like, that doesn't really sound that scary. And then I saw what this is actually referring to and I realized I I definitely have this phobia as well. So we're gonna make this entire living area revolve around circular shapes. I'm only gonna be using circular or like round items in here. And I feel like it's not so much circles, it's actually more so tiny little holes that freak me out. Particularly little clusters, like actually, hold on. This is exactly it. I'm gonna add a couple of these. This item here from Perfect Patio. I'm also gonna add a couple of these weird round chairs. Well, 
we'll add some curtains in the back here. I'm adding a fireplace with a TV. And on top of there, I know there's a round lamp from the book nook kit. Oh, this one. Again, it's not so much like these circular items that are scary. It's like hard to describe if you haven't seen it and I'm not putting it on the screen. We'll add a round mirror. Oh, we could actually use these ones too from Snowy Escape. Maybe I'll put these over by the front door and we'll put a bunch of them together. I'm gonna use round lighting from Growing Together. Maybe we can stack some of these round tables from Growing Together. Oh, actually that looks good together. Literally the miscellaneous symbol here could apply. This cluster of tiny living lights. Oh, this toy box, the eyeballs. Oh no, okay. This is gonna go over here. Maybe this can be like kid corner. Oh, this rug here from base game. I'm adding more of the logs. There's also this weird thing from decor to the max. Over here in the corner, I'm adding these round ottomans. I just needed like an extra space here. Oh, we could add this candle from laundry day. Maybe also some of these hanging plants. All right, this place is definitely a little weird. Giving off weird vibes in here for sure. But I actually don't mind the living room over here. We've got mostly round decor pretty much everywhere except for like the TV and fireplace. The kids corner over here, I added those lamps there from base game. Again, mostly round stuff going on. I hate that toy box now. <laughs> I also had to add the round computer over here. We've got our seating area with all the round poofs. And back behind here, I just added a keyboard there, the barrel plant, and that is going to be our main floor for this house. And moving on to apparently the most common fear according to this list, which is the social phobia. That's referring to the fear of social interactions, which does make sense here. Like, I feel like a lot of people have social fear, at least to some degree, whether that's speaking in front of big groups of people or even just day-to-day, -day, like, social anxiety. So I'm going to create a dining room for this one. It's going to be a big social area. I'm gonna add the biggest dining table I can find, which is maybe gonna be that one there from base game. We're gonna add some chairs around, again, base game chairs. I'm gonna add a rug under here. And what if we add some microphones? Maybe this family is very into like open mic. Maybe they have people over and they like for fun do open mic together. This family's getting weirder and weirder by the minute. We could also add a bar over here. Maybe they're into hosting. I might not be able to fit an actual bar. I was hoping it would go in that corner there. So maybe we can just add the globe bar, which actually now that I think about it, it would be kind of cool to have just a little singular bar. Just maybe something compact. I'm just gonna add any way for Sims to be social here. Like I'll add a laptop. We could add some wine storage over in the corner just for hosting purposes. Oh no, what about the karaoke stand? I'm just trying to think of anything that would be a nightmare for someone with social anxiety and that could do it. This is such a weird random dining room. Maybe they can roll the karaoke thing like back into the hallway of dead hobbies. <laughs> but for now, they're gonna be singing their hearts out in karaoke dinner night. So we only have a bathroom left and a hallway upstairs, I think. So I'm gonna finish those off. I'm gonna give this family a proper bathroom because the only one we have upstairs is gross. All right, so this is the bathroom that I gave to them for the bottom floor. Nice and clean in here. I went pretty minimalistic, no sign of anything gross on the floor or walls. And then upstairs for the hallway, I unfortunately found even more things that could fit the tripophobia. We have this rug here from Eco Lifestyle, even this couch here with the little circles in it, and these plants over here from Dream Home Decorator. So that has been us building a house in The Sims 4 inspired by different fears. I hope you guys like this one. I'm really happy with how it turned out, especially the outside. And if you guys like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know some your phobias in the comment section down below and thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next one